The Holocaust was a mass genocide against European Jews. It was carried out by Nazis. Six million Jews died in the Holocaust. However, 12 million people died in total. Those targeted by the Nazis included Jews, disabled, gypsies, and homosexuals. Nazis pillaged, burned synagogues, broke windows of Jewish-owned businesses, and attacked Jewish people in Austria and Germany. These statues tell their stories. In 1985, Kenneth Treister was commissioned to design and sculpt a memorial to the memory of the Jewish culture and individuals destroyed by the Holocaust, to create a memorial garden that would give survivors and those who lost loved ones a place to visit in lieu of the cemetery they do not have, and to express in photographs and sculpture the history and sorrow of the Holocaust so future generations will never forget. Kenneth created the memorial as a large environmental sculpture a series of outdoor spaces in which the visitor is led through a procession of visual, historical, and emotional experiences with the hope that the totality of the visit will express, in some small way, the reality of the Holocaust. Treister's initial sketches showed an outstretched arm reaching for the skies as hundreds of small human figures cling to it and to each other. Out of all these statues that are sculpted onto this desperate hand, only one has a tongue. This was a specific design choice that was done to symbolize the fact that Jews could barely be heard. Their rights were stripped and nobody would listen to them. They had to holler to be heard. Treister said the arm represents his portrayal of a scene from hell, frozen in bronze. A giant outstretched arm, marked with a Nazi prisoner's tattoo, rises from the earth, the final reaching out of a dying person. The entire arm was built in five giant, interlocking slices. This assemblage, when cast and finished, was loaded onto a caravan of trucks for a long pilgrimage to its permanent home in Miami Beach. The memorial sculptures were initially to be cast in a Taiwanese foundry, but because of a change in currency valuations, the project in Taipei had to be abandoned, and the work was transferred to Mexico City's Fondicion Artistica. Treister said he began the design of the memorial with no preconceptions as to its form, moved only by the indelible image of a human's tragedy unparalleled in the history of humankind. In this photo, Treister sculpts part of a model out of clay. It took about one year to produce the initial 17 feet high clay model, one third of the final size. However, that was the story of one. Each statue has their own story, from the mother holding her two children as the early signs of the Holocaust begin to show, to the large hand that reaches for the sky. Throughout the memorial, there is a plaque with many names engraved in it. Names of Jewish victims to the Holocaust, to honor those who were lost in the genocide. What did you first think about this place before coming here? I thought it was going to be about history and what more the Holocaust was about. And now coming here, it's more about what happened in the Holocaust and how people experienced and survived during this Holocaust and this treacherous event. Okay, so my second question is, now that you have been here, what do you think about the statues that you have seen? It definitely shows how people were tortured and it just wasn't fun. It shows how realistic it was, and it's, yeah. Thank you. The Holocaust Memorial provided intensive information and shed light on the history behind these statues. Thank you to the Holocaust Memorial for shedding light on these testy subjects and making sure we never forget.